are here at Splice's house. What's up? What up? Right over there. All right, we're uh, gonna do like a day in the life, right? Like just kind of like, what do we do in a normal day? Yeah, just gonna ride around. Yeah, we're gonna get some coffee. And shout out to everybody that's giving me a lot of crap about not wearing a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> That's for you, Raph. Yeah, man, I know you've been saying some stuff on the comments, and I know that you're doing that because, you know, you care. Love you too, buddy. <laughs> and everybody else out there, especially Paul and shit, and whoever else in the comments is giving me crap about not wearing a helmet. I think I was just trying to find the right one, and I don't know, I just like having my own style, I guess, but I guess, you know. Having your own style comes with a price that so you don't want to fucking die, right? All right, well, <laughs> set a good example. I'm finally getting a helmet, and it's right here. It is the Fox V1. With my one of my favorite colors. If you guys didn't notice already, the whole Mason Jagat thing always has the red. Well, I like red and black, and this is what it is: red and white. Same thing. Whatever. It's the red color. Here we go. All right, guys, yeah, we got the helmet right here. It's on. This is the Fox V1. Um, it's fairly lightweight. I think it's like, I don't know, almost three pounds, three pounds. I, don't, I haven't really looked at the, the because I think this is a newer model. So I don't know about the 2020 or 2019. I don't know about those models. I think those are heavier. But yeah, this is it. My favorite color, red. Alright guys, we're going to go to get some coffee, like we told you we are going to do, and we're going to get our standard white coffee, white chocolate. Lead. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> guys trying to get some coffee Let's do it Situated. Sorry. No, you're all good. I know. I was like, is that gonna fit over your helmet? No, I thought it was. I was like hoping, but I'm like, damn. I just started wearing helmets again. Yeah. How fast like, does this go? 30. 30 what? 32? 35? 35? Yeah. yeah, 35 on a good day. Do you ride in the bike lane or do you ride ride in the road? Both. Full. Yeah. <laughs> that, I think that's why. That's the beauty of it, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's called a uh, KJ's coffee, right? Yes. So. My name is Chelsea, it's called K-J-E-L-S-E-Y. Oh, so it literally is named after your... Nobody could say my name, it got butchered all the time. So, <laughs> they call me Kajelsi, k -Gels, so... Okay. People to call me K-J. Hell yeah. So the hardest thing about being in an espresso stand, wearing this kind of helmet, is you can't drink it on the go. So we're gonna have to like, chill, and uh, <laughs> go get a spot here and just relax and drink our coffee. Is a spot? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Sounds good. Yeah, that's all good. This is spot one. Sorry. All right. I am transferring that to you. Ooh, they look like they look like eggs from a dinosaur. Okay, that's a part. Yours? All right, guys. So if you're ever in the area, you guys need to visit KJ's Coffee. One more time. What What is the name of the place and who are you? KJ's Coffee. All right. Cool. Thank you Sounds so good. Much. I appreciate it, guys. All right. Take care. Thank you. Oh, this is. All right, guys. So we got the coffee from that uh, little local stand there. That's really, really good, guys. If you ever want to go visit. Oh, is it KJ's? KJ's, yeah. And I guess she's like the, the owner. Yeah. We're probably just gonna go ahead and mob the streets later on and try to get some cool views for you guys. Maybe even check out Seattle. Let's do it. We'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs>
All right, guys, we are at Troll underneath the bridge. For you local Seattle heads, you know what that is. But you guys that don't, it's kind of like a famous little location right here. Oh, look at my weave. Oh my God. I know. So we're over here at uh, Me Some Pastry over here in Seattle. And this place is fairly cheap and it's got some good humbows and pork buns, whatever you want to call them. And it's gonna be spices first time. Bite into one of these. How is it? Steamed buns and baked. So we got today. Alright guys, we're here in Seattle. We came across this really sweet bike, guys. It's also an electric vehicle. It's an electric motorcycle kind of a look. It's right here. And uh, what was your name again? Jeff. Jeff, and we're here with Jeff. And you're a local here yeah, in Seattle? Yeah, in Seattle, live downtown. And apparently he used to have a Super 73 and he's been modding this thing right now, which is freaking awesome. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm gonna flip this camera around. Pretty sweet. It's got the V tires on there with the Bafang motor. I don't know if you guys can hear me with the mic. I'm just trying to do my rounds. You played rubbery with insolence, and I played the blues in 12 bar. I had to buy these because I wanted polished, so I bought them. I bought them online, all spoked and hub, and then I stripped them out and just used the ring and had I yeah. put 10 gauge spokes in. And then I did the same thing. I did the same thing with a motorcycle wheel in the front. And this is aluminum. The front wheel is aluminum. Uh, that's that's hand polished aluminum. Same thing with the spokes and the nipples. All right, guys, so we're back and we have... Jeff Kenderi with Seattle Electric Bicycle Company. Awesome. Okay, so it started out uh, last summer as a COVID project and I bought a complete bike and then just started changing out components because they weren't really up to quality. So brakes, started with brakes and then wheels and tires and then uh, cranks and chain rings and handlebars and you know basic cockpit components and fit and finish on the bike. And so I uh, took the whole bike apart eventually and then uh, modified started modifying the frame and uh, now I have my own frame in production right now oh wow okay definitely has more of a motorcycle look right here so and I can appreciate that because I come from a riding background we're really trying to build a hand hand built custom bike uh, with the best components that we can find in the marketplace using bicycle and motorcycle components that's you awesome. know combined well I mean because the bikes are so much heavier with the the weight of a of an adult riding them and then with the weight of the, uh, of the electronics and stuff and especially with the back if you're using a hub motor in the back um, and the other thing too is we don't really we haven't really put much stress on these frames yet to figure out where they're gonna fail so okay and the other thing too is this is built in aluminum we're we're our frames are gonna be built in chromoly oh that's so sweet. Yeah. I was just talking about that with a friend yeah yeah so and that's basically because we're looking for you know again that steel is real thing and yeah hey man it's nice meeting you and thank yeah, you, you for too. sharing baby tell me what's wrong are you sad when you're all 